Thanks for joining us for another review. This one is Angel's Take on the Crux Prime. Her layout is 55 by 5 by 50 dual angle, which puts the pin above her bridge and kicks the PSA out slightly. Her personal specs are in the description. There's a lot to talk about with this ball, but that will be covered in my review and the live stream following. With Angel's reviews, we're just going to focus on keeping it as simple as possible. Just ball reaction, what it does for her, and what it can do for you. Once again, this is my voice, but her words. First, the ball looks and smells amazing. We both agreed on the scent for a change. We definitely favor different flavors of candles, so to speak. But the pomegranate cider is nice. It's not a cloying or offensive scent. It's clean and fruity. A friend had mentioned it smelled like Skittles. Angel isn't the biggest fan of purple, but the color combination, the way it swirls going down the lane, is pretty sexy. Sometimes colors, uh, sometimes a lot of colors can be distracting when you're trying to watch what the ball is doing, but they actually help in this case. They illustrate the ball motion really nicely, which is pretty helpful, especially if you're still learning and improving. Angel immediately started a full arrow left where she normally stands. This is a very heavy, rolling, strong ball that digs into the lane and picks up and moves at the end of the pattern. It's fairly smooth and controllable, but it's still decisive at the break point. I don't know that it can be called clean, but when it decides to go, it picks up and is firm through the pins. Whenever she gets that deep, she feels like she has to help it, but that wasn't the case with the Prime. With her slower speed, usually she has trouble getting the ball down the lane, and there is a point moving in where she can then get it down the lane, but it won't roll back up or hit. This is a common issue she has, specifically with something like the idle. It's too much ball from straight, but wouldn't corner when she got in as far as she needed to to keep the ball right at the head pin. With the prime, though, it dug in without being sharp or snappy, and was something that she felt comfortable with. The way it picked up on the back end without quitting is a feature of the new cover that we'll talk about in my review and the stream. With the kind of angle she was playing and her lack of speed, there were still several shots that it couldn't bail her out on. There's a lot of new and cool stuff that's happening with this cover stock, but it's still a bowling ball. Angel and big hooking solids don't usually get along. She has to get too deep, and that's not really what hook monsters are designed for. But we both agreed that this might be the best look she's had with a ball this strong, and specifically because it doesn't burn or quit when the lanes start to dry out, or when you get into those steeper angles. It maintains the move on the back end as the track dries up and forces you left. Uh, but again, that's that's not her wheelhouse and it shows. The Prime is a better hook monster, but it's not going to turn Norm Duke into Belmo. Normally, she can get away with something like the Codex for a game to a game and a half in league, but when the ball starts hooking, she has to switch because moving left with it just isn't an option. It's, it's too much angle for the ball to overcome. With this one, it pulls back up and still drives. Of course, like I said, with her rev rate and as smooth as this ball is, there's still going to be some flat tens. Uh, there's going to be flat tens from everywhere. That's just a fact of life. Does she need something this strong for League? Not really. The, the Idle Pearl has fit that bill nicely. It's much easier down the lane, so it lets her stay further right. Now, the thing is that it can get a little over-under when the track starts to burn, and if she has to get left, the Prime is about the best option at everything she has. Her game just isn't built to swing the ball, but if she is forced left, this ball actually looks like her best option. Speed seems to be the key with this ball. It hooks a lot, so if you have slow speed, it's going to push you left. It's also pretty smooth, so if you have higher speed, it's probably not going to corner enough for you. It seems to respond well to any rev rate. Your speed is what's going to determine how well you get along with this ball, and I think slower speed is going to be much better than faster. The Crux Prime has been angel tested and angel approved. It likely won't see much lane time in league, though. If for what it is, it's better than other comparable balls. It's just a lot stronger than she's going to need week to week. But we'll catch up with you in a couple months on the report card and see what's what. Thanks for watching. Bye, <laughs>